Hello and welcome to the Brick Freak. Today is the second part of building the big Volvo bus from KMB aka Mold King. So this set was produced for Mold King for KMB, the, the uh, Hong Kong bus company. It's still available, some sets. It's a, um, a limited set of, of thousand copies, but there are still some left. So if you want it, link is in the video description. Uh, I have one problem here. I got it without the electronics and I ordered them separately and I forgot that it has LED lights and I need the extension cable. So I get rid of my extension cable out of my buggy and uh, so I can show you driving and uh, steering, I hope, when we've done it. Uh, so much, not, not much to say. It's an easy, cool build set. The instructions are not brilliant, but okay. This is how it looks from underneath. There are the two XL motors, the two differentials, no suspension, mostly frames underneath it. And yes, so we have three motors assembled, servo 2L. One M is missing. It's, I believe it uh, will be applied in the next building step for opening the doors or something like that. Accu box will sitting in the back of the bus. Okay, uh, I want to show you that this is a real set from KMB. It's a Volvo bus and these buses are driving in Hong Kong and they produced it and they, we have original uh, uh, names of the stations and we have the original driving schedules so this is a really fan product for fans of the Hong Kong bus company. Well this is the end of building step 5 what I showed you in the beginning that was uh, four and a half yeah, normally I don't stop half in the building step, but okay, this time it was so, though this is completely five and brought us a big layer here of frames and Technic beams with a little bit mechanic inside for the doors. We have two 32 length carbon fiber axles. The other L motor, it's not an M, an L sits down under the Akku box and then the hole, you see it goes totally straight here. So we have two doors there and here I believe and building step six brings us now I hope that uh, I believe the doors and the rest of the front and the side here so that we can go on with seven, eight, nine and ten to build the or ten is only the stop sign. Seven, eight and nine the, the last three building steps will us bring the rest and uh, the second floor and a lot of more seats. I have still half a bag of of the seats here laying around. Okay, so far so good. So building step six is done and like I said it brought us the doors and closing here and a little bit here of the front panel. That is not easy to... Uh, it's a little bit bending because it's five layers of, of, of blades or something like that. I show you in a second. Okay, uh, doors are working, or at least this door. I made a test. Uh, I hope this door is working too. I will make a test before I uh, go any further. Uh, we have here a little gap for the gears, and I believe there, where the white gears are, there will be another gap. Um, strictly good to build. And uh, now it's getting, getting stupid. So, okay. So here's the front plate, and like you see, it's really thick, really five layers or something like that. So it's bending a little bit, but, but it stays where it should be. Oh man. <laughs> ah, okay, a little bit too soon. Okay. Really great building experience. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see which part they mean from the angle-wise um, when half of the, the, the build is... N n you see only half of the build and that's from an angle where you can't see which parts you have to connect. So you have to do it intuitive and say, okay, these pillows must be connected because in the in the instructions you don't see it clearly, but it's obviously that you have to connect the pillars from the roof to the with the pillars from that come from from the the ground that you connect them 
but in, in the instructions it looks horrible. You don't really know what to do. So do it just intuitive and then you have no problem at all. So 7, 8 and 9, I believe 7 will bring us uh, the second floor, the ground, a lot of blades of blades of blades. And then we're doing the same as on the, the ground floor, building seats in it and give the thing a roof. Oh, hello, this is building step 7 and the noise in the background is our washing dryer. I, I don't know what the name is in English, you know. You put the clothes in, one and a half hour and they get out dry. Putting wet clothes in. One and a half hour you get it out and they are dry. So I believe it's a wash dryer or something like that. I don't know. Okay, sorry for the noise, but I'm in the cellar. So, building step 7. First you bring on a layer, like I said, over the whole structure. Then there's the problem so outside, not in the middle, but on the on the sides, you bring bringing a lot of 6x12 blades on to the other layer. But underneath are Technic frames or sometimes a gap, so you can't push it really hard because it's not stable uh, from underneath. And so you don't get the blade totally plan, plan uh, laying. There are some gaps, but it doesn't matter because you have only the seats on it, and you see they are they are holding. But this is a, a a little problem of the set. Of course, you can put your fingers underneath to the counter pressure, but you don't get the whole blade really fixed to the other. But it, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. So, uh, like I said, I tried uh, the doors, and first this door opened problem free. This here only the left door opened. And yes, in the instruction, only the left door has here a, a Technic connector to an axle. The axle moves backward, and so the door opens. But here, in the instructions, there is no technic connector. So for instructions wise, only the left door has to open. I put a connector there, so both doors are opening and closing. I think this looks better. But like I said, in the instructions, it's otherwise. Okay, 28 times building the seat. Oh, that's... When you're building the seats from the first floor, make yourself happy and build all the seats. These here are all 28 the same, so you have to have it done. You have it done, don't have to do it twice. Okay, uh, building step 8 is a bigger one. We have a lot of uh, slopes here, so yes, of course, what is missing? The roof. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. So, this is building step 8 and brought us the roof. And you see a lot of these pieces here these slopes and that slopes hundreds man man and it's not so easy to the construction of the roof I made three mistakes first um, it's not easy to see how to deploy the the tiles here the, the 8 by 16 on the Technic panels underneath so mine was one row wrong and I had to remove everything and do it again because on, on one side here, underneath has to be one row of studs for more slopes. And mine was even, so I couldn't apply the slopes. So I have to remove everything and move one section down. That was the first mistake. The second was I assembled the roof 180 degree wrong. Okay. I recognized that and then I assembled it <laughs> here even. But it has to be two studs outside because the back plate of the bus. So that was the three mistakes I did. So be concentrated on building step eight. Uh, <laughs> it is not so easy how it looks. But yes, we are already done. This is building step nine and brings us the back of the bus. And this is building step 10 and brings us the, uh, the sign, the, the bus stop sign. And I hope then we are done. Oh, what have I here? Sometimes I find bags 
with pieces and I don't know on which set I had them <laughs> the same ah these are black black seeds I ordered for for a modular okay okay two building steps uh, I show you nine and ten together in the next take okay oh it's done our Hong Kong Volvo bus double decker bus is finished oh man okay um, this is the the bus stop sign with no stickers I told you I don't sticker the set because a lot of them go over more pieces especially this big KMB sticker and I want to sell the set because I don't have the room for such a behemoth and most of technique I sell after the review course yes like I said I have no uh, no room for that for all that asking or uh, asked me uh, how I sell them I have two three viewers they are always happy to get what they like and if they don't take it I ask my viewers again in the video or I use a platform eBay uh, I don't know what the name in English is but it's a, it's a small kind of eBay it has to change the name because it's sold from eBay and there you can insert your or you can offer make offerings of things or you searching something and then you can take it and it's mostly for for the neighborhood so or yeah, that's because I like it when the people come to me and get it okay <laughs> uninteresting for most of you okay it's finished it's done it's not stickered it's cool it's big it's working um, <laughs> In the beginning I tested it and the last wheel it it turned the the connector turned I put on the wheel it didn't turn put off connector turned okay I forgot one of the five gears in the differential put it on again it turned put on the wheels for the middle axle didn't turn okay what was it put it away put it gone didn't turn the X with stoppers that are going through the piece where the the rim goes to this piece or this stopper has to be put really further in than you expect use a sharp tool put it in two millimeters more and then it's connected to the differential it was the problem it wasn't connected to the differential if you put the stopper till the limit of your thumb it's not deep enough you need something um, that has that is a knife or something and put it to the last two millimeters then it's connected to the differential and then it works at the moment I don't move it anymore to the side to show it more to you because I have a little bit fear the eggs come out again so I'm making the video in the review when I show it to you driving after that I put it to the side and show you underneath everything was, was that is working there and uh, so that's that's the reason I don't show it or I turn it at the moment for you so you have to watch the review like always in my videos <laughs> there's always a catch I'm yes I'm a bad man bad Frank Bad Frank is a catcher. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, for all that one doesn't want to wait and want to know, is this a good set? If you like what you are seeing, or if you need the pieces, then it's a nice set. It has no super fancy building techniques and some things. Here I can put my my finger to the ground. Here you see this, but. These are small, small things. The rest is, is a good set. It's not a brilliant set, but it's a good set. And it works. Everything works. Both doors, driving, steering. And if you want this only for the pieces, this is a great set if you need red. You have a, many, many of these panels. You can build really big houses 
out of this set. And with all that slopes here, if you need these pieces in that color, this is a brilliant set. Or the 6x12, the 26 by self plates and, and what else. It's a good set to butcher for the pieces. And if you like buses, then this is a set you can really buy and enjoy it when it's standing on the shelf. And I believe with the stickers it look or will look really cool. Really cool. And people, when they come in, they're really impressed. When such big models standing in your living room or your dining room or doesn't matter. And I know this because I have a lot of people that come to my house and when they see what I'm building and for the big things they are really impressed. And my mom said, wow, this is much bigger than I expected. So the impressing factor is is there. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you turn in for the review and I catch you in the next one.